Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? Won't you all night long? Tell me. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a wig from a new company I believe and that company is Royal Me. Uh, so this is my first time working with this company and I can honestly say that I think this is the definition of a do nothing wig. So if you see my face, I look a little weird because I had to examine the wig and figure everything out about it because this is my first time working with them. So I wanted to actually see what the unit was looking like and the unit comes with an elastic band in it and I was checking to see if it was full lace because the construction from the inside kind of looked like it was a full lace unit but it's not it's just a lace front but they do have what I guess would be their version of this fake scalp um, and it's perfect for anyone who doesn't want to DIY it or are scared to mess their units up um, but theirs is a little bit different theirs is more like a silk base um, unit and if you're familiar with the silk base unit you know it kind of looks like scalp but it's a little bit bulky which I hate and it's not really like breathable but this one is totally breathable it's super lightweight and it looks like scalp okay if you don't like this or if it's too dark you can either like tint it add your foundation powder or liquid foundation to it or you can completely remove it because it looks like it's just sewn on with invisible thread but this hairline is plucked and the knots are bleached so literally you have to do nothing to this unit. You don't even have to braid your hair. So I'm not even going to braid my hair, which I rarely do anyway. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get my hair as flat as possible and put it in a nice little bun. And like always, I am using my Lovely Beast Edge Control to make sure everything is nice and slick. And all of my baby hairs are out of the way because I have ripped them out before. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and slick and pull it back. And make sure I get my bun as tiny as possible. So now that I got my slick back going on, you don't even need a wig cap with this unit. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the unit straight on. And this unit looks so good, you guys. I love when units have like the little temple area for the hairline. Like and not just like a straight across or like a little like, I don't know. Sometimes they try to have like the little temple area, but they don't really have it. But this one, the hairline looks so good so I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit closer so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like you can part it anywhere and you're going to see scalp like up down sideways it doesn't matter it's going to look like scalp and no little black dots or anything like that are showing just go ahead and say this now I'm sure somebody probably already said it in the comments because of the beginning intro um, but I am using an HD camera you guys and I'm literally like two inches away from the lens when I get this close so of course you're going to see the grids on the lace a little bit but nobody should be that close to you in real life <laughs> So now I can just go ahead and cut the lace off. Just a quick little uh, disclaimer, I guess. If you're not used to doing this, do not cut your wig um, lace off with the unit on your head. It's actually like a not as easy as it looks and I hate doing it, but it looks so good in the video, you know? Uh, so yeah, if you are new to this, I would definitely cut the lace off while it's either on a mannequin head or if you're holding it up like to the light so you can see the exact shape of the hairline, I would cut it like that just because it's more, um, it's a little bit more easy and you don't have to worry about cutting your real hair or cutting the lace in the wrong spot. Um, but yeah, this is what the unit looks like with the lace cut off and I did absolutely nothing to this unit but cut the lace off and it looks bomb it's not tacked down like 
anything like the sides are a little bit loose like by the ear tabs because it's not tacked down but you could totally get away with just wearing this unit and maybe like your wig grip or something underneath it just to keep it from sliding back but y'all you can't tell me that this don't look bomb and it's like fresh out of the box, okay? But because I'm me and because the video would have been so short and I feel like I'm like cheating you guys because it was so easy, um, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick way that I like to apply my units when I'm like in a rush and don't really feel like going through the whole method. I literally just take the Got To Be Glue Free Spray and I spray it directly on top of the hair, the lace, the hairline part. And then I just go in with the end of a rat tail comb and kind of just push the lace into my skin and then take the blow dryer on cool or like a warm setting and just blow dry it down to make sure it's completely dry. And I just do this around the perimeter of the hair and you guys will see like it looks like I melted this lace down, okay? It does not look like it took me two seconds to do this. But you don't want to use too much of any type of like holding spray because it will leave like that crusty white residue and then you have to take like a damp paper towel and wipe it off. But look at this y'all, like I can comb it back and it's not lifting at all. The sides are tacked down and everything and it literally took me no time to do this. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just hate me without you. And you guys know that baby hairs are totally optional, but I will wear baby hairs with my real hair if it was straight, so I'm gonna do it with my unit. So I'm gonna do very minimal this time. I'm just gonna take two on the little temple sides area, um, just a little hair on both sides and cut it a bit. And then I'm gonna do like the little widow's peak area in the front because I have kind of a widow's peak and I always swoop it this way. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the same edge control, my Lovely Beast edge control, and just slick my little baby hairs just a little bit. Y'all, I be catching myself making the weirdest faces when I be sitting down to edit, but I lost my scissors right here, but I ended up finding them. Um, but yeah, after I do this little swoop, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see this hairline. And I literally just, I can't believe that it took no work to achieve this. Like, where were you guys when I first started wearing wigs? Um, but yeah, if you guys want me to do a giveaway on one of these units, because somebody definitely needs to experience this, then go ahead and comment down below. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and hit that little notification bell, so you are notified every time I post. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Y'all see that little crest right there on the side? That's exactly what I was talking about with the free spray, but bye y'all.